games have defined my generation's uh, growth moving forward. Now, with that being said, should we be plastering those video games on our skin in tattoos? Who knows? I'm Split Focus from the 2B Project, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to talk a little bit about tattoos. I definitely am a huge advocate of getting tattoos that reflect something meaningful. If video games define who you are, if video games are what you're passionate about, then maybe getting a video game tattoo is good. It is what you need to do. It's cool, you know, you can go around, you can look on Facebook, and I point over there because that's where my computer is, but you can go on Facebook and you find all these people posting about, you know, posting their tattoos. Every, I think every two weeks I see uh, a post about, you know, someone getting a video game tattoo. Just recently, I just saw one getting a, a tattoo right down their forearm. That's kind of cool. It was, a, it was a picture of like Vivi from Final Fantasy and, and a chocobo and a mob or whatever. It was, it, it re looked really good. Like, I'm, I'm not knocking the artwork, okay? But let me tell you something about tattoo, okay? It doesn't matter what kind of tattoo you have or whatever. Strictly speaking, from a professional point of view, if you have a tattoo on your arm or if you have a tattoo, it doesn't matter, it could be video games, it could be whatever. Some people, and I'm not saying this is me because I, I, I personally don't care, but if you're like working in an office, right? And you have a Pikachu tattooed on your arm or a Final Fantasy VV on plain sight where people are gonna see. And if you're in the customer service industry, well, there's a lot of people that look down on that. Like I said, I like tattoos, but for God's sakes, man, if you're gonna get a tattoo, at least get one, you know, where it's not in plain sight. You might actually, um, you might actually ruin your chances at getting a job if you go to an interview and you have a video game tattoo in your arm. I see so many people, and they're kids too, you know, they're like 16 to 20 years old or whatever, and they're posting, I'm a kid too, okay, I'm gonna use that heart. <laughs> 16 to 20 years old, they're posting pictures of, you know, them getting tattoos. I saw one where a kid got a tattoo right on his, on his, like, was it his forehead or was it his cheek? It must have been his cheek, but it was a little butterfly tattoo to look like his character in Final Fantasy XIV. Now, I haven't done a lot of research on tattoos, but let me tell you. I think it's important that you guys really make an educated decision before you guys start going and getting a tattoo of a video game on a place that you can see. I'm not angry or anything like that. I'm going to get my own tattoo at some point. Maybe when I am old, when my skin's already sagging. So there we go. I'm Split Focus from the 2P Project. Please, guys, when you guys get your tattoos, just think about it for a second. Think about who's going to see it. Think about what's going to happen when you go into a job interview. Unless you're a freaking rebel. If you're a rebel and you don't care about anything, just do it. Just do it. Why not? Right? Split Focus from the 2P Project. I am out of here. Oh, before I go anywhere, sorry, I'm coming back. I'm going to post. Actually, I thought I, I posted, I'm going to pull out the, probably about five pictures right after I'm done talking. Five pictures of the uh, best tattoos that I've come across on Facebook um, and in, in the Googs. <laughs> the Googs. Just like Google. It is the Google. The Google. Yep. <laughs>